Hello folks, so in this one we're looking at this article from Auto Car Magazine. It's the best selling cars in Europe in 2022. And uh, we're just going to go through the list. New car registrations in Europe fell 19% year on year in March, while plug-in hybrid and electric models outsold diesels. And this is according to data from a company called Jato Dynamics. Registrations across 27 European markets dropped to 1.1 million, which is 33% lower than March 2020, and a 37% drop compared with the pre-pandemic March 2019. Volume for the first quarter of 2022 is 10% lower than in 2020, down 2.73 million, which is the lowest level since 1985. This is serious stuff, isn't it? Jato said the drop in sales was a result of the ongoing uncertainty around the availability of new cars and the invasion of Ukraine. Although Ukraine isn't a large market for European car exports with a small market relative to its population, it remains to be an important source of vehicle parts for major European OEMs. Let's go to the numbers. We can probably all guess what's at number one. It's the Tesla Model 3. That's down 3%, but 23,000 of those sold. Obviously had huge success over here, especially with company car drivers, because it's sort of next to zero um, benefit in kind. I think it's like 100 quid a year, 200 quid a year company car tax on one of those at the moment. They're massively popular, even just locally around here. There are loads of them on the roads. I had one for review last year, if you remember. I'll put a link to that up there if I remember to do so. I loved it. Also, I think the Model 3 gets a bit of a hard time about its interior. It's far better than most people give credit for. Far better than a lot of reviews I've seen have suggested. So the 208 is the second most popular. 21,000 of those sold. Great thing about the 208 is you can get a petrol one, you can get a diesel one, you can get an EV. So there's still plenty of choice for those. And that probably helps to boost them because they're ticking so many different boxes. Number three is the Tesla Model Y. I'm not surprised by that at all. We expected that one to be um, right up there because of the success of the Model 3. The Model Y, if you don't know, sits sort of between the 3 and the X in terms of its size. I don't think they're the most attractive cars in the world, but they're certainly very practical. The good old Golf's at number 4, not a massive surprise there. Golf's always a very strong seller. Uh, Dacia Sandero at number 5. That's really good. Obviously, it's a budget car, and this is a time when people are really thinking about budget, aren't they? So, not surprised to see that up there. And the Citroen C3. Now, the C3, you might be a little bit surprised it's so high up the list, but the smallest car, the C1, was taken off sale earlier this year, and the new C3 is going to start at just under 13 grand, which is really going to start to make people ask the question if they're looking at something like Dacia, you know, ooh, do I prefer this Citroen, you know? Uh, number seven is the Fiat 500. You'd expect that to be massively popular in Europe. Obviously, it's got the electric variant now as well, with a couple hundred miles of range. The Ford Puma at 15,937 sales. I'm not surprised by that one either, because I get so many emails from people saying, oh, I've just ordered a lease on a Ford Puma, or I've just ordered a Ford Puma. That new model's going really well. Uh, the little Yaris at number nine, quite a funky design, and obviously the GR Yaris came out, which is one of the most sought-after cars for quite a long time that I can remember anyway. And then number 10, we've got the good old Vauxhall Corsa. Again, with the Corsa, that's available as petrol, diesel, or full battery electric. So plenty of choice for people there, which is probably part of the reason it's doing so well. There you go, just a short little video today, but I thought that might be of interest to some of you. If you don't already follow me on social media, please do. All the links will be appearing on your screen somewhere now. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. And whoever you are, give me a thumbs up. Thanks very much. See you next time.